Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Geo Elmo Geocaching. This is day nine in my 14 day vlogging challenge, and this will be my last entry. As I mentioned before, my goal in this challenge was to become more comfortable on camera and to learn a little bit about vlogging. My ultimate goal, if possible, is to vlog my 10 year geocaching anniversary adventure, which is coming up in the next week. 10 years, 1300 finds, it's so hard to believe. Let's talk about some observations from my experiences this week. The first thing, obviously, is that I'm not finishing my 14 day challenge. I definitely overcommitted, and at this point, it's becoming more work than fun. It's the weekend now, but this was especially hard during the work week, and it's been taking all of my time. Vlogging isn't my passion, but it was fun getting some experience with it. I can see myself vlogging in the future, but only infrequently, and if the situation warrants it. What do I feel were some of my successes? I got great experience with vlogging, with editing, and with turning around videos quickly. I definitely feel more comfortable on camera. Remember, I only started getting in front of the camera a year ago when the pandemic started. If I hadn't made that change, I never would have produced any short films in the last year. Over the last eight days, I've gotten some great feedback from you viewers, so thank you very much. And see my show, Jump Cuts. I learned about using music, B-roll, image stabilization, and dealing with lighting issues. I definitely think this was a successful effort, even if I didn't make it 14 days. Going forward, I want to concentrate on short filmmaking. I want to get back to my high altitude balloon project, and I have some great geocaching short film ideas for this year. So even though I didn't finish, I will deem this challenge a success. So what do you think? How did I do in this series? Please leave a comment below. If you're interested in great geocaching short films, then please follow my channel and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.